Today we're going to make something very simple and delicious, although it does take a few days to make, but it's worth it. Tartar of sea bream with a crystal clear gazpacho consomme, topped with a quenelle of caviar. Let's begin. First, we're going to take some tomatoes. It's important that they're ripe. Some peeled cucumber, a tiny bit of sherry vinegar, and salt. Leave this in the fridge to marinate overnight, and it should look like this the following day. So now we're going to blend. It's very important at this point that we don't over blend because then it will become cloudy. So with your mixer or your blender, just mix it, give it a couple of quick pulses like this. And it should look something like this. So now get a sieve with a paper towel and a pot underneath. If you have cheesecloth, that's actually a better option. So gently pour the contents into the sieve, and we're going to leave this in the fridge overnight. The following day, you should have gazpacho consomme, crystal clear and delicious. So naturally for this recipe, we're going to serve this cold, but it is possible to serve this warm on its own. Just don't heat it above 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit, or it will become cloudy. So we're gonna keep this simple. We have some diced rod, some herbs, and some salt. We're gonna give this a mix. You can use any herbs that you wish. Cilantro, basil, parsley are all good options. So now we're ready to start plating. You can use a circle mold like I am, or you can just spoon it on the plate if you wish. So now we're gonna do a little quenelle of caviar. Use two spoons the same size and shape, and then just keep turning away from you. And then just gently tap it out to the center of the fish. So now we're just gonna put some herbs on top. Today I'm using some sorrel and pampernel and some rocket flowers. I'm also gonna put a few radish coins on there. If you don't have access to those, you can use any other herb you wish. Dill would be a good option. So right before you serve, you're going to pour that crystal clear gazpacho into the bowl. And then just put a few dots of olive oil and you're good to go. This dish does take a little bit of time, but it is very simple and it's amazing. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.